Hi and welcome back to another episode on How to Hack. And today I'll be sharing with you three tips and advice that I think will be really helpful for you if you're going after CISSP. So if this is your first time here, I encourage you to like the video as well as subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. And this is a channel all about ethical hacking and penetration testing so that you can learn as much as possible on all of the great content that we built for you. Now let's go back into three advice that I'll share with you about taking and passing CSSP. And CSSP stands for Certified Information System Security Professional. And I had a wonderful chance to take it two years back and I managed to pass it on the first try. And recently, right, I've been tasked, I've been provided a number of assignments and opportunities to teach the next generation of cybersecurity professionals in CSSP. So, so I haven't had the time to help take up those assignments to train the next generation of cybersecurity professionals. But hopefully in the future, when I do have the time and when time permits, I could actually help train up all of you, all right? So there are three advice that I would give you in terms of taking CSSP. The first advice is to have a fair assessment of yourself, okay? I know this sounds hard and this sounds difficult and challenging, but it is the different levels that we're currently at before we attempt the examination, all right? so. At the very lowest level, I would say, is in terms of your experience and in terms of your understanding of technology. All right, so if you have no experience and you do not come from an IT background, it is going to take a much longer time for you to attempt CISSP certification. So why am I saying that? Because CISSP does require a substantial amount of knowledge in IT, in information technology, in computer science, as well as IT security before you're able to take the certificate very confidently, take the examination and pass it, all right? So in that case, all right, if you're starting out, that would take maybe a number of years for you to complete it, for you to download those knowledge into your mind, all right, as you read more and more books and then get exposed to many different views of IT. So in that case, I would advise you to try to find an opportunity or career in IT, all right, so that you can be able to gain and learn from the experience. As you move up to the next level, perhaps you have background in computer science or you are from the IT field. Perhaps you're an IT administrator, a server administrator, a network engineer, and whichever the case is, all right, you have an understanding of the fundamental of IT. However, all right, CSSP covers a lot of domains. And in those cases, you have to be familiar across multiple domains and you have to understand all right, how computers talk to one another. So that is the fundamental part. The second part is in terms of IT security. All right, how do you apply the different kind of principles, the different kind of framework into your work? All right, particularly if you're in IT or you have some background in IT. Okay, so you have to think of those. And one question I can ask you now is, what is the difference between a role and a group? Okay, in terms of identity access management. All right, so do let me know your response on the comment section, and I'll let you know the answer later on, okay? And of course, the third level, I would say, is if you have experience in IT security and in IT, all right? So if you have both of these experiences, it is going to be much easier for you to take the examination head on, okay? But, all right, the key is but, you still have to prepare a lot. You really have to dive very deep into each of the domain. So if I was to ask you a question right now in terms of encryption, all right, what does AES stand for? All right, what is the key size? Okay, what are the five modes of AES? Would you be able to answer them right now? All right, so you have to be very familiar with those technology, with those security terms. And at the same time, you have to have applied thinking, all right, meaning that you now understand all the fundamentals of IT, all the fundamentals of IT security, how do you apply them in a real world scenario? So as you're reading the books, as you're preparing the materials before you take the examination, you have to ask those questions to yourself all the time. In your day-to-day -day work, as you're working through the day, think about those principles that you just learned. How are you gonna apply them in a real world scenario, in your company, in your enterprise, in your business? How do you want to apply them so that you can use those principles to help secure your business, potentially from a cyber attack? All right. The second key advice I want to give you is time management. All right. So when I took the examination, I have a 
fairly technical background, as you can see from the YouTube channel. And I have a lot of experience in terms of physical security. And at the same time, I have experience working with a lot of big enterprises in the area of cybersecurity. So at the same time, it took me three months, all right? I took three months to be able to read four books and I read them three times each. All right, so I read through three times each for each of the book. And I practiced more than 2,000, right? Practice questions for CSSP. And I can tell you for sure, when I went into the exam hall and I took the questions, none of those questions that I practiced ever came out. All right, so wonderful job for the team that are building all the questions for CSSP to make it really dynamic so that there's a lot of applied thinking. All right, so you have to really understand the fundamental of IT, the fundamental of IT security. And the third level, again, as I've said before, is how can you apply the security principles framework into a real world scenario, all right? And there's a lot of scenarios that is going to be asked of you. And at the same time, they can go from strategic level all the way to technical level. So be prepared for that. As such, why I'm asking you to read so many books and repeatedly read them and understand them is so that when I ask you a tough question, all right, you'll be able to answer it very quickly and you can apply those principles in a real world scenario. And the third advice that I wanna give you is don't be afraid to fail, okay? The likelihood of passing it the first time is actually very low. So if you manage to pass it the first time, kudos to you, all right? But for majority of us, passing the first time is going to be tough. So if you still end up failing on the first try, all right, or even on multiple tries, don't give up. Keep pushing on, keep pushing on, keep learning, take it as lesson learned and look at it positively. For those who are taking offensive security certified professional, all right, and the key motto is try harder, all right? So I really encourage you to stay positive, stay motivated, keep learning, keep reading. It's always a great experience, isn't it? To learn more, all right, to have more knowledge and download more knowledge into your mind about security, about the frameworks, about encryption technology, about security defenses, about lock management, about hardening your systems and your servers, about the different port numbers, all right, at the same time, being able to look all the way at the top from strategy down to the technical levels. As you learn all of this, it is better for you in the long run. So just take it positively, all right, and look at some of the questions that you may have attempted, but not managed to confidently answer them and think about them as you go back home, all right? Look at those materials. They could help you get a better result. Once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's three advice that I've shared with you on taking CSSP. So if you have any questions, you will leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of your questions and will like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can become abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.